Hi, I'm Lee. I'm a New Zealander who lives in the East Riding of Yorkshire and this is my podcast about my handmade life. You can find me on Ravelry as Luli, on Instagram as Luli underscore. I have a shop where I sell knitting patterns and sewing patterns at Shop Luli on Etsy, but you can find links to all of my online places at luli.com. Welcome. I'm really pleased to be sat having a little chat with you today. I'm going to leave my camera set up this week and just pop in and have a wee talk to you every now and again because it's quite a nice thing to do. I am sat in my front room and I think I think you've been here before when it was painted a really bright pink and full of boxes of my stuff. Um, I have just re redecorated this room which feels amazing because I work in here all day um, during COVID times whilst we are working at home and I had been sort of shoved on the end of a table and surrounded by all of my unpacked boxes because I don't have any storage furniture <laughs> and at each time I realised how deeply unpleasant that was and so I cleared everything out and I put it in the shed and I have painted and this weekend I'm going to get some cupboards which is really exciting. So anyway I am so excited to be coming to you from my new front room <laughs> which is it's got kind of going to be a room of requirement at the moment. It's my home office where I work all day and I can see everybody walking by and I can see the birds popping in and out of the hedge and yeah other nice things. Um, and I'm going to use it as a studio sometimes and it's also my spare room so yeah really exciting. I'm really excited to have this room finally a little neater and a little more calm I think. Yeah, yeah. I think this feels like it's a bit of a turning point. I feel like I'm on top of things a bit more than I have been for the last year. So, so that's a really nice feeling. And I'm super excited. This has nothing to do with knitting and sewing, but I went to the garden centre at lunchtime and got myself a packet of sweet peas. And what really exciting about these. Check out the name of the sweet peas. Let me focus this correctly. They're Darcy Bustle and they're such a pretty colour. So once I finish talking to you, I'm going to go and plant those. I thought I would just leave the camera set up this week and have a chat and pop in and have a chat with you every now and again about knitting and stuff. So the first thing I just wanted to update you on is community news. Um, we have Knit 1000 Grams that has been running in the Luli Ravelry group um, and the goal is to knit a minimum of a kilo of yarn from Stash. I have no idea if I've achieved that. It started in September. I think this year I thought that whips counted. Yeah, but so many of you have been joining in again because we've been doing this for a few years. Um, yeah, and just making your way through your stash and enjoying stuff that you already had. And usually, usually in normal times, I would go to the Edinburgh Yarn Festival and I would draw a prize for that knit along um, and buy something at Edinburgh Yarn Festival. This is not normal times and so I have been sent some really lovely, a couple of really nice things to give to the winner of Knit 1000 Grams and I'm going to draw that on the 1st of May. So you have time to go and update your posts. Um, yeah, so I have a copy of um, the pamphlet from Mrs M's Curiosity Cabinet to give out there. Me kindly donated this for me to give to you. So that's really excited. Exciting. Excited. Always excited. Well, actually, no, I'm not, but you know. <laughs> um, and the 
other thing I was sent all the way from New Zealand, I'm going to rustle. I was actually sent two bags, and I did say that the winner can choose, but I might have already uh, pilfered one of the bags, po podcasters' prerogative, for myself. I felt like I needed a little something. But anyway, this one is for the prize. I think it's really pretty. It's got this lovely metallic, um, it's got this lovely metallic sort of, I'm guessing those are Chinese characters, paired with this beautiful grey here. So I think it's a really pretty bag with a coordinated lining. And gosh, the name of the person who has, who donated this has just totally slipped my mind. But I shall put it in the show notes. Yeah, and she, she sent me this one with kiwis on as well. And I've decided to keep this one for myself. <laughs> Sometimes you just need a little reminder of home. So yes. So the winner will get the pamphlet in the bag. And I shall draw that on the 1st of May. I was watching a friend podcasting. I think it was this week and she mentioned that some people lip read when they watch videos and so they can't see you if you put stuff in front of your face and I was like well duh, that's why didn't I think of that before I guess I guess if it's not an issue for you or a problem you just doesn't occur to you so anyway I'm trying to hold everything off but off to the side <laughs> while I keep talking Let's see if I can, if I remember to do that in future podcasts. But anyway, I'm going to try my best. So yeah, I have those two lovely things to send out to the winner. I'm going to draw that on the 1st of May. The next thing to talk about is the Advent Mini Skein Swap. And I had totally forgot to put sign-ups for quarter two into our thread, in, into the Luli Ravelry group in Ravelry. Does that even, did I even say something just then that made sense? Quarter two of the Advent Mini Skein Swap is now open to sign up. And it will close on the 1st of May and I will pair everybody up so that you can all get swapping. And that will be exciting. Yeah. If you'd like to join in, you don't have to be putting together an advent calendar. And what we do is we swap six 10 gram mini skeins four times a year. It's usually quarterly, but this year I have dropped the ball a little. But anyway, um, if you come to the swap late and you do want to get enough mini skeins to build up for an advent calendar, you can always ask for two swaps um, and I can organize that. What else is there to say? If you're not doing advent, you can still join in the swap just so you get mini skeins for other projects that you might be working on. And the last thing to mention in community news is just that the completely frivolous along is still frivolousing along. And um, the criteria for that has changed slightly. I think I said it had to be um, frivolous and useless, but we took the loose useless element out because that just, I don't know. I like things that are useful and so do a lot of other people but you can still have a bit of frivolity with your stuff. Anyway, if you're making something frivolous then come and come and join in. It'd be great to have you take part in that. So I think that that's all the community news I've got for this time um, and as I say I'm just going to pop back in over the next couple of days and talk about the things that I'm knitting. Hi, I just wanted to let you know that because I've taken so long to get this video edited and up that I've decided that I will pair people up for the Advent Mini Skein Swap and draw the prize for Knit 1000 Grams on the 8th of May. So you've got a little bit of time to update your posts or to join in there. Cheerio! <coughs> Saturday morning and I'm just sitting out on my patio 
and I had the sun in my eyes but it's quite nice just to have the sun so yeah that's nice I'm doing some chores today I've hired a van to to move some things and so in a minute in a few minutes I'm going to go up to the allotment and retrieve the shrubs that I have there in large pots and I have some friends that are going to meet me there to help me lift them but in the meantime I have time for a little bit I will sit out on my patio and a knit and there'll be a bit of traffic noise I suspect and maybe some birds that you might be able to hear so yeah just enjoying quietly enjoying Saturday morning Marshall is inspecting the lawn and Bobby is just having a wee bit of a relax in the sun. So yes. And I am just plugging away at my latest vanilla sock. I tend to only knit on this when I'm uh, doing something else like in a Zoom meeting or something where I don't need to concentrate on it. It just keeps my hands busy so that my mind doesn't wander off. <laughs> if only we could do this when we were in the office. And I have it in my Kiwi knitting bag that Sue made. Thank you so much. She also sent me a little um, really cool stitch marker that has a New Zealand five cent piece in it. Uh, which has a tuatara on it, which is just lovely. If you don't know what a tuatara is, you'll have to look that one up. So, I'm just putting helical stripes into the sock. If I hold it here and make it focus, just there. I'm using our West Yorkshire Spinners Signature 4 Ply. I think this is my favourite sock yarn right now. Um, I wish it came in some more elegant colours. Colours that I would wear for outerwear garments because I think that would be really versatile. It's a super wash one with nylon in it and it wears really well but it also feels nice. You can put it through the washing machine just with non-biological detergent. And it feels nice whereas I find that the Lang Yarwol that comes in really nice colours actually starts to feel a bit stiff after a while. The socks are still nice but they just feel a bit stiff whereas this seems to stay nice and soft. Um, yeah so I just wish that it came in some colours that I would wear as outer wear. Nice brown, maybe some nicer greys be really good. So the colours I'm using is the nutmeg there and then this kind of turquoisey colour which is called blue raspberry. This is from the sweet shop range so I'm guessing that was some kind of British sweet. Yeah. This ball is looking rather saggy because a friend was saying how much she liked the colour and she already had the nutmeg and so I have wound off a bit to send off. There, always fun to share some knitting stuff. So yes, that's how Saturday is shaping up rather nicely, thank you. So whilst I'm sat here and I have time, I thought I would tell you about the other pair of socks that I'm knitting which is the last pair of socks in the Socks from the Allotment collection. The Dandelion Clock Socks. Um, and give you a little update about that. The patterns will be out in the second week of May, which is a little later than I had said it would be. And the collection is still half price until the second week of May. The other, until that pattern goes live, the other thing that I discovered is that if you purchase on Ravelry 
and I update the PDF, you don't automatically get the PDF. And so I've been in touch with everybody who purchased the collection through Ravelry and ask them to send me their email address so that I can actually just email you the updates. I think most people have done that um, but if you haven't please just message me on Etsy with your email address and I'll make sure that you get the other patterns as they come out. Yeah that was a bit of a I had just assumed that it would work like Ravelry, that you could update your PDF and all of your customers would get the, um, the previous version. Which, I mean, on the odd time that you have like an error or something that you need to amend and get out to people, that's a bit of a nuisance. So, yeah, something to think about. So anyway, I'm doing two samples of the dandelion clock socks because my dogs are about to bark at pigeons maybe anyway I'm doing two samples because they have a slightly different lace pattern about the on the cuff and I'm just going to waft this in front of you very briefly I'm doing this in Eden Cottage yarns so I've done the first sample um, and as I say, depending on what size you knit, the lace pattern around the cuff is slightly different. So that just needs washing and blocking and ends going in. And I am now on to the second sample, which is another Eden Cottage yarn. I don't know if you can see the spangliness of that one. Really pretty. So yeah. Um, but as I say, the patterns are available on Ravelry or in my Etsy shop and the collection is half price until all three of the patterns are available. I just had one more project that I wanted to tell you about before I sign off and edit this podcast and get it up on the YouTubes. So I have it here in my Emma Ball bag that I got from Fine, fine Fetal Fibres last year when I visited in one of the few yarn shops that I got to visit last year. Actually that's not quite true because right at the beginning of last year before all of this kicked off I went to New Zealand and I went to a few yarn shops so so I started when we went into the last lockdown, I treated myself to some more yarn. I was editing my podcast and I happened to be, in the podcast, I happened to wear, be wearing my new Vinters Cove jersey. And I thought, my, that colour looks rather nice on you. And so I decided to order pretty much the same yarn in the same colour. Not quite. What I did was I ordered the... Ulysses um, matchy matchy so this is the sport weight um, version from Dererum Natura yeah and I had decided to knit myself a lighter weight cardigan the pattern I'm using is called Leave Melina by Joanna Ang. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I'll put a link in the show notes. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but it is a really nice cardigan that has a cable and lace detail up the front. So just a really nice relaxed fit, and I thought that that would be lovely for warmer weather. And I had been, I ordered the yarn and then was looking through Ravelry for appropriate patterns. And this is actually the recommended yarn for this pattern. So in theory it should work really well. So during January I whisked up the back of this cardigan. And then put it aside while I was, while I've been knitting the samples for the dandelion clock socks. And so I'm really excited to get those samples out and the pattern out so I can get back to knitting this cardigan. This is the back and then you...
divide the back in half and knit the front so it comes up and over the shoulder and down the front. So I'm excited to get that back out and start working on it again. Something to look forward to. Yeah. So anyway, it's been really nice to sit down and intermittently chat to you <laughs> again. Um, the socks from the allotment collection is still half price until that last pattern comes out and I think I said in an earlier segment that I hope to get it out in early May. So pop over to my Ravelry or Etsy shop if you want to grab that at half price before the complete collection is out. Otherwise, it's been really nice to sit and have a chat with you. I hope you'll like and subscribe if you enjoyed yourself, and I shall see you next time. Cheerio.